used to be kind of just foresters were involved in forestry, and now it's, I think of it in terms of, of ecosystem management, managing ecosystems. I've talked with the director of the Canadian Forest Service lab here in, in Fredericton, and 50% of their staff are going to be eligible to retire over the, over the next five years. Well, I, I, I did eventually uh, go to forestry right after high school. Um, grew up in a, in a smaller town and uh, was always interested. I've always wanted to be in forestry, I guess, uh, since I've been pretty young. I've been in the woods with my dad and our own woodlot at home. I had a teacher who started pushing me in, in uh, pushing me to ask questions and to figure out things and to challenge myself more. All the things that are related to forestry that don't have to do with cutting trees, like climate change, or ecosystem management, and wildlife habitats, and biodiversity. And there's social aspects to forestry, there's the science, there's the economics, there's a little bit of everything mixed into a well-rounded forester nowadays. I think that the students that are coming into our programs now when the numbers are low it's kind of like buying at the at the bottom of the stock market. The jobs are there, they're out there, it's just a matter of going and finding them. It's going to be neat in 10 years maybe to look back and say they do that and I know what they're doing because I was involved with that. I really enjoy the challenge that's offered for me by doing this kind of work because it's a very it's, it's both theoretical and practical because you're asking theoretical questions but you need to find practical ways to answer them.